Sunfall, the current capital of the Shadow Karja insurgency and the home of the infamous Sun Ring. The home to countless sacrifices in the name of appeasing an angry sun became synonymous with the madness of the 13th Sun King, Jaron. This is unfortunately the legacy most will remember of what was once the home of Bryce Orbital in the 21st century, but its past was not always so tainted. Sunfall began as a response to the disappearance of the sixth Sun King, Areev, into the Forbidden West, never to return. His brother Basadid, who then assumed the throne, ordered the construction of Sunfall to protect the Sundom's farthest reach from whatever had claimed his brother. In its first form, this was but a simple fortress built over the ruins of the Old Ones. The only piece left untouched was the ring made of metal and two smooth grey stone. What scholars of the time believed was once a site of ancient rituals was converted into a training ground for the garrison occupying the fort. This was the first iteration and the humble beginnings of the Sun Ring. Its next evolution would be its most glorious. Though the fort staved off bandits and scroungers, the great threat it was built to defend never came. Over time, Sunfall itself was essentially forgotten until the reign of the 11th Sun King Marzid. Upon inspecting it, he saw a vision of an ornate citadel with a great polished dome that would catch all the rays of the sun. And so, work began to revitalize the forgotten fortress into the Sun King Summer Palace. Sunfall became a city unto itself, a home of art and culture, and so too was the Sun Ring. What was once but an open space for training was repurposed into the arena we see today, where blazons and hunters of the lodge would test their might against the machines in shows of pageantry and skill. Unfortunately, after the passing of Marzid, this era of prosperity would end in Sunfall. Under the rule of Hivas and his son Jaron, the Sundom would turn its focus to strengthening Karja military might, and the Sun Ring would be transformed into the accursed place we know it to be. This history of Sunfall was documented presumably by Karja historians over the centuries. However, one last detail found within the Collector's Edition game guide provides one more iteration of the Sun Ring's past. According to the text, the Sun Ring was once designed to be a massive sundial, a true labor of devotion, constantly revealing the path of their omnipotent deity, and perhaps to pay homage to how the first Sun King, Aramon, followed the sun's path to found Holy Meridian. This presumably would have been under the reign of Marzid, as he was responsible for much of what Sunfall ultimately became, a once great city of culture and perhaps even religious significance, all buried under the nameless dead and gone that shall haunt the Citadel's past. Forever. And that brings this chronicle to a close. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated, and if you really like what we're doing at the channel, come join our community and hit that subscribe button. Also consider supporting the channel on Patreon to help us create new series and supply more quality content just like this. Check out the link in the description. Or if you have a great idea or interesting question that could lead to our next episode, let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, thanks for watching, and keep questing.